Hey, what's up guys? I was recently on vacation in Cancun, Mexico, and I found a piece of coral which looks almost exactly like that Mars flower which was in the headlines in the last couple months. As you can see on the top right of my screen here, a news headline from NASA from March 1st, 2022, that the Curiosity rover finds a Martian flower. So I had never really held a piece of coral in my hand or looked at it up close like this before. And it's kind of surprising how there's not any kind of central structure to it. Like how a house plant has a stem, which is like a straw for water to travel through to the leaves and to the roots, etc. A piece of coral is just a piece of bone with thousands or millions of little holes in it. And there's no central stem structure. There's no central tube structure to it, like in a house plant. So that was kind of surprising to see. And so for the Mars flower to be the equivalent of some earthly coral, there's really almost no structure required. There's just the same form factor, which it does have, the same knobby, stemmy structure that they both have. And then also, the Mars flower would just need to have millions of little holes, which it looks like it has as well. So now just to take a quick glance at a few of the news headlines. This is from February 28th, 2022. NASA rover spots unreal Mars flower formation. There are no coral reefs or fossilized flowers on Mars, but there's a lookalike. So, it looks, by all impressions, it looks like an old ocean bed. It's got the, the ripples in the sand from the ocean water. It looks like a piece of coral, and uh, these rocks might even be old shells that have been eroded uh, from thousands of years of wind and uh, dust and sand blowing against it. So this article is really showing us what appears to be organic remains of an oceanscape. And the article is acknowledging that it looks like organic remains while also denying that it is what it looks like. So I've downloaded the image from each website that I'm going to be glancing at here. So just to take a look at the full size image, we've got a good landscape shot. Um, and by the way, it's surprising how many slightly different versions of images have been released so far. But I'll explain that more as I go through it. So, this article has a few links to uh, a couple Twitter feeds that I'll be looking at right here. So, here we've got these three images that I've already downloaded and I'll take a look at in a second. Basically this black and white shot, then a close-up color shot, and a wider landscape color shot. So I'll switch over to uh, looking at the downloaded photos right now. I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> I'm trying to swipe on my mouse here. Okay. Here is the uh, black and white shot, which is just cool for um, giving us a little bit of a different perspective on it. Um, it's from a different angle, different, a um, little bit of a different area in relation to the objects. The rocks being at the top of the photo here um, instead of on the side here. Like, the, like most of the images that we've seen so far. So the flower object has a good uh, sense of 3D in this shot, that it's a three-dimensional object. All right, so let me swipe back to the, 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 Twitter, um, the Twitter feed with the embedded photos here. So um, that was the black and white. I'll now look at the, uh, the close-up and then the landscape shot. All right, here's the close-up shot, which at first is the most exciting image so far. 
because we get a really great sense of the texture of the object, which really looks like a, a porous texture or a sandy texture, just like the coral that I was showing earlier. Um, but unfortunately, there's something wrong with this close-up shot. That being that there's been a blurring effect added to the edges of the object and to certain spots on the object. And when we look at the, the wider landscape shot, the flower object does not have this blurring applied to it. So here is that wider landscape shot. And when we zoom in onto the object, we might not get quite the same clarity of the texture on the object. Uh, but like I just said, like I just described, it does lack that blurring effect that we were just seeing on the close-up shot. I believe the blurring effect was added to um, to obscure some of the real clarity of how closely it resembles earthly coral. I believe they just blurred out one of the holes up here, for example, which would have really looked like uh, one of the holes on the coral that I'm showing right here uh, from Mexico. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I think they just added the blurring in spots strategically to just obscure how much of an exact equivalent this is to earth coral. However, this landscape shot still gives us quite a great shot of it. Although the texture, as I was describing, the texture is seen best in this uh, close-up shot, which unfortunately blurs a few spots. Quite, quite blatantly blurs a few spots of it. All right, let's go back here. So now I've shown these three images embedded in this Twitter feed here. Uh, this one is just showing just showing that supposedly the Mars flower is smaller than a penny, and I did download that as well. Um, but the thing is that it doesn't really make a difference as to whether or not this is an equivalent of Earth coral, which I believe it to be. It's it's irrelevant if it's smaller than a penny. <laughs> um, that doesn't decide whether or not it's an equivalent of coral. All right, and now finally, I think this is the last website that I was going to look at. Oh no, there's one more. Okay. Um, all right, so this is this is the NASA website that I started the video looking at. I did download both of these images here. Um, so basically, it's the same two shots, this being the landscape shot, which does not have the blurring applied to the object. And then the next one is the close-up with the blurring added. Now, here's the last website I'm going to glance at. Um, and I did download this image as well. It's notable for um, having, having a really nice color tint for the whole image. Um, it gives the gravel sort of a gray or blue look in certain spots. Uh, but we do see that blurring added to the Mars flower again. By the way, I'm not familiar with this website either, but it similarly appears to just be an enthusiast website for space, astronomy, science, etc. So just scrolling down, we've got the smaller than a penny shot again. Um, this image I downloaded 
but it turns out to be a really small, low-res image that it's not worth looking at closer. But this is cool right here. This is the last thing that I'm going to show from the websites. This is a 3D model, um, which just, I'm not, <laughs> I'm not trying to do everything that it's doing. Okay. Wait, why is it? This is just to show, I don't know why, but the controls are like going crazy for me right now. But um, yeah, this is just a 3D model to show that this is a three-dimensional object. I think the vertical sides of it are not really uh, not really showing that there's vertical edges like that, but it's rather that the image was taken from overhead like this. So there's a distortion for the vertical edges of the object, uh, but this really does show This really does show that it's a three-dimensional object. And then down here is just showing some other strange, some other strangely shaped rocks, but it doesn't really look very similar to me. So I'm not really going to be focused on that. <laughs> 